the longest reigning heir to the throne in British history was King Charles III. He was only three years old when his grandfather King George VI passed away, and his mother Queen Elizabeth II assumed the throne. Although the new king's life has been filled with highly publicized events such as his marriage and divorce to Princess Diana, his long relationship with Camilla, and his frequently tense relationship with his father, King Charles III has spent a lot of time working behind the scenes to support charities and carry out his obligations as a senior member of the royal family. He even had time to paint a few landscapes. In this video, we will go through 10 facts you might not know about King Charles III who became king after his mother's death on September 8, 2022. Before starting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Number 10. King Charles III was the first royal baby born at Buckingham Palace. Charles Philip Arthur George was born to Princess Elizabeth on November 14, 1948, when she was 22 years old, just six days before his parents' first wedding anniversary. Newspapers described him as a handsome child and a splendid baby. CBC Radio's Matthew Halton emphasized to listeners that the infant would not soon become king. He might be 50 or 60 years old before taking the kingdom if both his mother and his grandfather live to the fullest age. Halton almost got it. Queen Elizabeth II passed away when Charles was 73. Number 9. Given the title of Prince of Wales at the age of 9. After his grandfather passed away in 1952, Charles moved up to second in line for the throne, but he didn't receive the titles Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester until he was nine years old, in 1958. Only male heirs are accorded the title Prince of Wales, however this is not a fixed position. Number 8. People weren't sure if King Charles III would keep his name. Like popes, many kings and queens opt for regnal names that are distinct from their given names. One such example is King Charles III grandfather George VI, who was given the name Albert Frederick Arthur George at birth, but preferred to be called Bertie for the most of his life. The last two King Charleses were not well liked in British history, despite that fact that the current monarch has been the most famous Charles in the UK for seven decades. Due to the treasonous deeds of Charles I, the monarchy was momentarily abolished and Charles II spent some time in exile, until the monarchy was reinstated eleven years later. Although he was largely adored, he was a notorious philanderer who acknowledged at least a dozen children that were not his. Charles Stuart, better known as Bonnie Prince Charlie, who was known for the Jacobite uprising in Scotland was referred to as Charles III by some. According to the BBC, King Charles III took the decision to retain his given name as one of his first after becoming king. Number 7. King Charles III Can Play the Cello as a young child, King Charles III began learning various instruments, such as the piano and the trumpet. During his time at Cambridge, he participated in the school choir and played the cello in the university orchestra, even though he was considered as pretty awful. He claimed in a BBC podcast in 2021 he loved playing there. Nevertheless, King Charles III was named the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra's patron. Number 6. King Charles III's Secret Service Nickname is Unicorn King Charles III was given the codename Unicorn, which is given to some foreign dignitaries visiting the United States. The imaginative name is weirdly appropriate considering that the unicorn is Scotland's national animal, and has been a component of its coat of arms for around 600 years. But in the late 1300 seconds, King Robert II or III utilized unicorns as part of the arms and doorway of Rothesay Castle on the Isle of Bute in Scotland. This is the first instance of a Scottish king adopting a unicorn as a symbol of strength. Duke of Rothesay is one of King Charles III's first titles, bestowed upon him at the of age five. Number 5. Richard Nixon tried to set King Charles III up with his daughter Tricia. Tricia Nixon, the eldest daughter of President Nixon, married in the Rose Garden of the White House for the first time in 1971. However, her father was attempting to arrange a marriage for the future King of England the summer before. King Charles III and Princess Anne visited Washington, D.C., on an unofficial trip when they were 21 and 19, respectively. They were treated like royal dignitaries and given lodgings in the White House as well as tours of local museums and attractions in Washington, D.C. In addition, Sally Bedell Smith notes that the president made sure Tricia was seated next to Charles on every occasion, which irritated him. King Charles III was delighted by the president's initiatives even though he didn't get along with the first daughter. 
On a trip to Washington with Camilla many years later, he was still cracking up about Nixon's attempt at matchmaking. Number 4. He first met Lady Diana Spencer when he was dating her older sister. In his 20s, King Charles III had a reputation as a playboy, and any female with a royal background was treated like a future princess and used as a media fodder. He met Lady Sarah Spencer at a party at Windsor Castle in June 1977, and the two exchanged invitations to polo and shooting matches. King Charles III visited the Spencer home Althorpe in November of that year and met Sarah's younger sister there Diana, age 16. In her book titled Diana in Search of Herself, Portrait of a Troubled Princess, Bidel Smith writes that after Charles and Sarah went skiing in Switzerland in February 1978, Sarah told a tabloid, There's no prospect of me being the future Queen of England. He hasn't met her yet, I believe. Number 3. Is King Charles III married? Camilla Parker Bowles and King Charles III are wed. She was made Queen Consort after he was crowned King before the then prince left to join the Royal Navy. They had been romantically connected since they first met at a polo match in 1970. Lady Diana Spencer was King Charles III's first wife. William and Henry, sometimes known as Harry, are their two children. In 1996, the couple split after separating. Tragically, only a year later Diana was killed in a vehicle accident in Paris. On February 10, 2005, Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles confirmed their engagement. Camilla and King Charles III wed in a civil ceremony rather than a church ceremony because they were both divorcees. On April 9, 2005, a civil ceremony for the marriage was held in Windsor Guildhall. A Church of England service of prayer and dedication was held at St. George's Chapel after the civil marriage. Number 2. King Charles III has a frog named after him. Hylocertus Prince Charlesi, often known as the Prince Charles Stream Tree Frog, was identified as a critically endangered species of Ecuadorian tree frog in the year 2012. Since then King Charles III has been vocal about the risks of climate change and founded the Prince's Rainforest Project in 2007 as a charity and awareness campaign. It was given his name to honor his work in rainforest protection. Number 1. King Charles III Estimated Net Worth before ascending the throne, King Charles III's net worth was estimated to be around $100 million. The same source of information suggests that the king's current net worth is $600 million. King Charles III derived the majority of his income prior to becoming king from the Duchy of Cornwall, which is a real estate trust. The new king and his family are intended to receive money from the 1337 established trusts, which is then passed down to the eldest son of the reigning king. King Charles III normally earns around $20 to $30 million per year from the trust in the form of rent payments and sales of his agricultural products. The majority of the Queen's private money, estimated at $500 million, was thought to have been transferred to the new king after his mother's death. The king will get his inheritance free of inheritance tax, according to the Washington Post. According to Fortune, the Queen's $500 million private wealth was mostly the result of her investments, art collection, crowns, jewelry, and real estate holdings, which included the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, England, and the Balmoral Castle in Scotland, which she inherited from her father. That's is it for today's video. What interesting celebrity facts would you like to see next? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.